Hopefully everyone can hear this, not on a YouTube and everything. Hello everyone and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Unfortunately the game didn't save again, so I uh, didn't save us dismantling our Lexus. Don't worry, we're keeping it, we're just I'm stripping it down for parts so I can repair it later. But yeah. What I'm gonna do is put it in the garage first. Then we'll see where it goes from there. If, if anyone's wondering, the reason I chose, I, I decided, to, yeah, it's warehouse and everything. I decided to buy an, uh, an IS. It was my starter car in Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. So, that's my main reason for doing this. I have a bit of history with this car. Let's get the engine out first. I, I remember I need to take off the gearbox. Wrong lift. Great start to the stream, isn't it? Going for the wrong lift immediately. Oh well, let's put the car up on this. So we're going to dismantle it, then move it outside. So I can put everything in storage to be repaired at a later date so I don't accidentally sell anything. I need to get the gearbox, is what I need to do. So these wheels need to come off. Everything seems to be seized up. It. There's been loads of stuff missing and broken. So it's going to get as much off the car as possible, then take it from there. So I hope everyone enjoys the stream. Ay, ay, ay. We'll do some other jobs as well. I want to get this Lexus stripped down. I'm, I'm thinking of turning this into either a drift car or well, something high performance. I don't know why I'm going to the camper. Yeah, I just need to get the drive axle so I can get the gearbox. Because once I get the gearbox, I'll be able to. Uh, I can get the engine out. I need to put it down. Oh no, I can't write. Wheels missing. Let's put the engine crane over here. Pull the engine out of the car. So yeah. And then we've got the engine stand, so we can create a new engine. Install so I can probably so I can either when I get to that point I'll probably Google whether I can put a new engine in it or what because it'd be quite cool to engine swap it I think maybe put a turbo in it but that's all going to come when it comes so just stripping it off now stripping all the parts off. Can I take off the back bumper? Oh no, it's not got a back bumper. Right. <laughs> Just me being daft again. Uh, interior disassemble. No. Interior disassemble. Front right seat. Which is actually in bad condition, it seems. Switch to default mode. Oh yeah, you need to take out the windscreen. And yeah. I know it doesn't look in particular I know it doesn't look quite right at the moment, but don't don't you worry, everyone. We're gonna get this car fixed up at some point. Let's get all the sway bars and things off. Just going through it really. Anything that I can repair, I will repair. Let's just get all the stuff that I can from the engine bay.
Yeah, I think that's the end of the bay taken care of. I've just got to get under the car now. Get some work done there. Don't worry, Lexus. We will. We will restore you to your former glory and and more. All right, let's get the calipers. This will be my pet project. I like these cars. Just I don't know. I think they look quite nice, just in general. So yeah. I mean, what? I mean, uh, yeah. Did, 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 did anyone in chat play most wanted? If you did. What was your starter car? What was, I, mean, I mean, again, mine was the IS. What was your favourite car in that game as well? Because, I, I mean, aside from the M3, because that's obvious. Actually, to be honest, even then, I prefer the SLR. Although I appreciate the M3 is really, really iconic. It's not I don't like it. I think I, I, I just really, really like the SLR. Like, really, really. Has anyone joined in yet? Yeah, got someone in already. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Oh, uh, if you want, if you want, to, if you missed any of the other parts, they're on YouTube. I've got a U YouTube and a Twitch under the same name as my. Sorry, a YouTube and an Instagram under the same name as my Twitch. And uh, there's my fake WD40. That's going to see a lot of use. And I was going to say, yeah. I have a YouTube and a Twitch, and the same as my Instagram. And I'm gonna be doing stuff. I do stuff on there as well, and on my YouTube and thing. I upload the streams as well, and uh, on my Instagram there's a streaming schedule. Uh, it's subject to change. Although said change will be in my stories. Front sway bar. In the tie rod. Yeah. Right. That's seized up. Got the discs to sort out. Pads. Ventilated disc. Wheel hub bearing. Uh, that's lag, sorry. And let's take out the hub. This is the seize up bolt. That's, that's a nut, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> it should be better than that. So, yeah. I mean, that's just about everything out the front now. <laughs> we are going to fix you. Yeah, there is nothing out up, up, up top now. Right, let's go around to the back of the car then. I know there's the exhaust and things. Oh, the exhaust is already missing. The, the entire exhaust, right. Hey, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't advise doing this in real life. They're not worth. The ISs aren't worth much. You'll be a. You can put yourself in financial ruin restoring one that's in, in, in this sort of state. I do love these cars though. Right, uh, what comes off now? This suspension, upper suspension arm. Shock absorber cap, rear spring, spring cap, rubber bushing, rubber bushing, sway bar rear end link, seat is seized up, rear shock, Right, uh, what comes off now? Is it the hubcap? Yes. And then the bearing, I assume. There we go, found it in the end. Okay. Hope this is seized up. Yeah. 
Once I got to get take the engine out, it's less, it makes everything a lot easier. Uh, ah, suspension arms. There's another one. Anyway, uh, rubber bushing needs to come out. A small, oh sorry, it's a small rubber bush. Yes, about everything's damaged. Nothing, I don't think there's anything over 30%. If there is, I'll be surprised. Right, okay, I need to go, get, go to the other side now. Uh, sports tyre. So I do apologise if you... Oh no, the bolt has seized up. Uh, your screws or whatever. If you watched the last episode and saw me all dismantle this car, because... Again, I, I keep forgetting that this game, it doesn't really save this sort of stuff. I know some of the... Oh, the brakes parts are over 30%, but... I mean, that's not really saying much, they're still in a mess. They're still, they're still, they're still a mess. Take apart the spring, the suspension arms. Thought I'd have to spray the nut on the other side, because that looks as though it's sea stuff as well. But yeah, I'll have a drink now and then I'll keep dismantling. There we go. Anyway, back to it, I suppose. Uh, here we go. This all I need to get rid of all the suspension arms. Did I miss something? Okay, no, it's just a sway bar. Take out these bushings. See, so once I've got everything in the garage, I'll start fixing this car. Sway bar, rear end link. Sway bar, small bushing and, and the suspension arm that I can take out this huge bit of suspension. Rubber bushing. I mean, yeah, I could, what I could do is strip cars for parts and sell them on to make a profit, but I'm not going to be doing that. I can fix certain parts, but I'll, again, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be fixing this car up. I should probably check if my audio is crackly, shouldn't I? Because I've had this problem before. I oh, know, I think we're fine. If I'm too quiet, or the game's too quiet, or I'm too loud, or anything, don't don't hesitate to say in the in, the, in chat. Because I'll sort that problem out. Other if. If it is a problem. Right, that's this car completely stripped now. Yeah, junkyard auction. Yeah, I can sell car. I am not selling this car. There's no additional parts, are there? No. So what else can I do with this? Okay, I can mess around with my inventory shopping this movie examination. But yeah. Right, let's move the car. See, so I can move it to the car washer or anything. Shop. Oh, can I move it into the car washer when there's like nothing in it? Yeah, I can. Uh. Let's put it outside the garage entrance so I don't forget about it. <laughs> don't worry, you will be fixed. That's up on bricks. <laughs> In a sorry state at the moment. Right, to the work, to the warehouse. Ow! <laughs> I, did, I just crushed myself. Is that a Ford Thunderbird? Nah. A 
or something. I was putting everything in the warehouse. Ay, 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 so many things. Oh, did I see something that was in good condition? I thought I did. Oh, I forgot to separate parts. Ah, I'll be fine. I can separate them when the time comes. Nearly got to the body parts. Just store an entire engine. Yeah, I've made this warehouse very full. Is this something I can walk through, or has it actually got a hitbox? I think it's got a hitbox. But yeah. Nothing in my inventory. Don't worry, we will fix you up when I've when I've got my garage to the max. So why does the warehouse appear? Is it is it like this? I think it's this. It has to be. I don't advise doing this in reality because I could have killed myself. <laughs> yep. If I was here, I could just back up. Oh no, I've been run over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, El Camino. Uh, yeah, I'm getting struck by car. So can you? S so, so yeah, the warehouse must just be here. Yeah, it's, that's a workshop. That's a warehouse. Yeah. Who's vandalised my container? I'm sure that wasn't there before. No matter. Actually, it reminds me. Can I customise my warehouse? I don't know why it reminds me of that. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, back to let's actually accept our first order of the day, which has been it's been a bit late, so we can bring you back from the dead. There's El Camino again. All right, we'll do a couple of not story orders. Let's do this. Not done a Dacia Duster yet. Right. Let's see, let's see. I don't like Dacia's. I really don't. I especially don't like this one because it's a mess. I suppose there are only other choices is clips. Mind you, I'll move it into this into the garage first, see if I can get another order to appear. And can we get another order? Yes, for, oh, it's another Focus RS. I've actually done a Focus RS more recently than an Eclipse, so we'll get an Eclipse in. So yeah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. These two are both a mess. Not as much of a mess as my poor Lexus. I mean, actually, it could also be a Toyota Altezza. It could very well be. I don't know. I'm saying this is like a US sort of area, so it's probably more likely to be a Lexus. Yeah. Alright. Actually, this could also be an Eagle Talon, couldn't it? Might not necessarily be an Eclipse. Right, let's do the Dacia. Right, let's see what's wrong with the Dacia. Is that a Romanian plate? Because this is a Romanian car. I can't see that. What is that? No, it's Minnesota, I think. No, it's Mississippi. I I was wrong in so many ways. Anyway. Loose sus suspension, brakes, trans and gears and gearbox for this. Funny steering, 
Alright, so steering and suspension problems. Okay. Right, let's make sure we get the gear. Aha, ABS. Module shot, ABS pump shot. I was going to say, let's prepare the gearbox for removal. By getting the starter out from the engine bay. Anyway. It could also be a Renault Duster, because in some markets it's, a Re it's bad as a Renault Duster. So others it's a Dacia. I live in the UK, so I just see it and immediately think Dacia. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a fan, but I can see why people would get them because they're because they're fairly cheap. Everything Dacia is like really, really cheap for new cars, and it's and especially the dust is fairly rugged. Well, it is rugged. It's like a it's a rugged off-roader. It's a proper off-roader as opposed to these little crossovers. Well, I suppose it is sort of a crossover, but it's actually properly set up for going off-road. Why is it so easy to take out the drive shaft? That's like an integral part of the car. Well, I suppose all of it's integral, but you know what I mean. Like I, I'm taking out the wheels; those are integral, <laughs> but. Well, I mean, like structural. Hey, yeah, yeah. What a mess. Let's get the drive axles out. Of course, it's bolts. It's a screw. It's a screw. Of course, the screw seized up. Drive shaft, gearbox. I've got two seized up bolts here. Clutch release bearing, clutch pressure plate. I'm going to need lots of cans of definitely not WD-40. I must stop making that joke. I don't need, I don't need my additional tools for this job. These days the stuff with the ECU and tyres. Nothing for... But yeah. Uh, right. Okay, it's still... There's still one more thing with the brakes that I've not found. I want to find all the parts so I can see if I can fix them and save myself some money. It's okay, okay that's easy it's enough, it's a caliper. Actually, let's see the stats of the Lexus, because I never saw the stats of the Lexus, probably because I was afraid of accidentally selling it. But yeah. I think I'll get better with like just general commentary and not and my voice not slipping and things. Right, so it's a Street Fighter version. Which I think that me I don't know, I think that means that it's... Like, a sports version? I'm not sure. 125,000 miles. Well, it weighs less than... I probably weighs less than two tons now. Factory tyre size, what do factory room type? Yeah. I don't know. Chat, should we restore it to factory spec or should we turn it to a drift car? Mind you, no, I, I have a different car in mind for my daily, like like a daily sort of thing. I, I really want to do this. No, it's, it's you, you decide, chat. If you, I mean, if there's no one to comment it, I'll decide. But yeah, you decide, chat. Anyway, back. To, uh, anyway, to my repairing area. <laughs> Where's a workbench? There's a workbench. Don't. I broke it. I I I broke the thing. <laughs> yep, that was just not good at all. Right. So I just spent wasted money. 
Cool. Not cool. Not cool at all. Uh, right. Yeah. All right. That was disastrous. I'll have another drink after I put put this wheel on. There we go. I'll mute myself. The people don't want to hear this. There we go. Right. Ventilated disc. I think I needed two of these, actually. No, I needed one. That wasn't smart. God, I, I need to be more. I need to be better with my money. Yeah, okay, it's the brick system done. Tie fighter, no, tie rod. I'm a Star Wars nut. I'm a, uh, I'm a first, very, uh, very big Star Wars fan. If anyone wants to talk to me about that. Flywheel. Here we go. Clutch plate. Clutch pressure plate. I need a new one of those. Let's put it on the car. I need an i4 4x4. That was easy. Gearbox. Actually, I think it's like the first proper off road sort of car that I've done. Here, on the, on the, in the, on, on in the playthrough. Yeah, I think it is. Another thing we've got done today. I hope everyone's enjoyed the stream so far. I love this game. I do. I really, really do. We're just putting everything back together now. And some stuff in the engine needs to go back on. And then we will be done with this day here. What's the factory colour? Green. So they right, so these blue things are the mismatch ones. Right. Uh, wait. Right. Engine. Put the starter on. I don't know where I put my head, but I shouldn't put it wherever I put it. Right, I need to go to the Electronics. Yeah, it's a pump that I need. Okay. ABS module. They see it done. Nine grand. It's a fairly hefty profit.
Why do it? Sell parts. That's more money made. Soppy steer, right. So suspension and running gear problems. Right, I need to get it right, let's prepare the gearbox for removal. I've got I've got to get in the hang of taking off gearboxes now. Yes, it's just a drive shaft then. Yeah, so cap. It's rather worrisome to the owner. I mean, the entire car's a bit of a mess. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, what am I wanting? It's not that late. How weird. Alright, let's take off this wheel. I'm not sure I like this room style. Well, no, I don't like it, alright? <laughs> No, I'm not sure I like it. I, I don't like it. This tie rod needs to be taken off. Let's not break anything this time. Need to take off the shock absorber so I can pull the spring. Need to get around the other side anyway, so let's do that now. Wonder if there's anything at the back, actually. I think I do see something at the back. I can know going around that way. Anything in the chat? No. Not the end of the world. As long as people are watching and enjoying themselves. Oh, I don't know where these yards are coming from. Sorry. That's all that really matters with with me. This spring needs to be pulled as well. I need to get the gearbox. Right. This outer tie rod needs to be gone and swapped for it. I need a tie rod or repaired. Either or. Okay, yeah, there's more, some more broken stuff inside the gearbox. Clutch pressure plate, off it comes. Clutch plate and the flywheel. Have I found everything? No, there's a part of the suspension that's missing. I found the part of the suspension that's missing. Right, let's go and see if we can repair stuff without destroying it this time. Okay, nothing that's that, I, that is already da too da overly damaged. But yeah, what was that? I thought I saw a yellow glow. No. I thought this was a toolbox I could interact with. This one is. No, that's a welder. This is a toolbox I can interact with. Let's buy the body repair station. Then that's all of the all of the tools that we've bought. Yeah, body repair station. That was to save me some money. We are getting there with completing this garage. What else is this needed? A couple of things for the paint shop, the test path, and the dyno. Okay, back to work. Uh, no, yeah. I need one outer tie rod and one inner tie rod. All 
Right, let's put the gearbox back together. Oh no, can I put the shock? Oh no, yeah, I need to put the shock absorbers back together. Right, I'll do the shocks at last. That'll be easier, I think. I need a flywheel. Clutch prep late. I also know I need a clutch release bearing. Clutch release bearing. Which one is it? Clutch plate. I need a pressure plate. Press I need a pre I need a pressure plate on. I couldn't select it for whatever reason. Gearbox, I thought. Gear. Gearbox, I thought. Here we go. Okay, I can only get the starter from the engine bay. Let's put the drive shaft and all the wheels and things back on. Now to tire it, I need to put this one on because this is the one that was here before. Right there's some shock absorbers. But again, I'll do them last because I forget exactly what parts I need. Right. Right. I need a front shock absorber and a right. I need a, a shock absorber and a cap. Shock. Front shock absorber a. Front shock absorber cap. Rear shock absorber a. Where's my spring puller? There it is. Join parts. There we go. Take, join. Let's have another drink. Let's put some more stuff back together then. Did that say take off parts? I swear it did. Sweet butter. Wheel. Where's the, uh, what am I looking for? I'm being an idiot. Oh yeah, the big shock absorber. What's wrong with me? I really don't know. How weird. I shouldn't be on like this. I don't know. Maybe I'm delirious. Got two people though. Thank you for tuning in. New record for the village stream. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Yeah, basically we're just if it don't don't say it in the chat if, if you want to do something. But yeah, basically we're just doing some jobs to try and get some loads of money so I can fix this. This is my car. I mean, I didn't buy it like this. I mean, I've stripped it down because I want to uh, turn this into a. I don't know what I've still not decided what I'm going to turn it into, but yeah, my car. I'm gonna to want to buy all the stuff. In the Why am I yawning so much? Buy all the stuff in the garage. I'm not doing this on purpose. Buying all the stuff in the garage for uh, so I can fix it up. But yes, completed this Mitsubishi Eclipse or 
or Eagle Talon. Could be an Eagle Talon. Could be an Eagle Talon. Should we do a story order? Chat! Give you a minute to decide. Okay. Uh, uh, nothing's come through. Yeah, I'm still. I'm, uh, I'm supposed to, I suppose I'll just do another story order then. <laughs> might not be able to. Might be watching on telly. See, you can't, I, I don't think you can can't with it on the television. Uh, what's the story order? It's Bolt Cargo. That's new. Golf. Cool. But yeah. Bolt cargo. It's a GMC Vandura. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> help, 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 help. Look at this thing. Right, change fluid. How many pages are there? There's eight pages of broken parts. He said there's like not much. Uh I hope we have enough money. Right, the first thing I'm gonna do, let's move the car to the car wash so we can see what's up. That'll give us a clearer view of things. But yeah. Let's clean the interior as well. Let's move the car to the first car lift. Uh, right. Let's use our additional tools. Uh, of course, it can't. Tire tread. 59. 61. That's came into focus. 59. 54. I nearly yawned again. What's wrong with me? I really don't know. Try the multimeter. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. I think I'm gonna pull the engine out of this. Okay, it's not got an ECU. Right. Let's go to the examination mode now and try and see what we can find. This is going to be a big job. Need to try and save as much money as possible. Very, very big job. Right. Uh, nearly done with looking at the engine. This car is going to be a well, van is going to be a lot to deal with. At least the radiator's fine. And the sway bar's shot as well. Is there another reservoir I've not checked? That's uh, fine. Exhaust. Exhaust. Drive shaft. Uh, do I have to go to normal mode to... Uh, no! 
Uh, yeah. Very fluid coming to you, kind of steering. Change your oil. Yep. You're going to be a pain, aren't you? Let's go back to the examination mode. I can see it already. Oh. Suspension. Leaf springs at the back. Right, got to, got to take out the engine now. Now, if I take off this right rear door. Does that count as a part that I need to do? Okay, no, the door, the the body is fine. Let's put put it back then. Bolt the cargo. Let's put the window back on. Right. Engine crane. Oh, I need to remove the gearbox. Let's prepare the gearbox for removal. I nearly forgot to do that. The starter itself needs to be taken off. Right, let's take out this gearbox. Then I can look at the entire engine itself. Because this is going to be one of those jobs that requires doing that. Drive shaft. Gearbox. Alright, now let's put the car down and take the end, put and take out the engine. Right, I suppose I've got to take both of them off as then as well. I've not done it. The only engine removal I've done is on that Lexus IS that I've got sitting outside. So I mean, I'm not exactly a master. Right, let's just see. Is the engine connected to anything else? No. I should be able to use my crane now. Why did the Why do I have to remove the front exhaust pipes? They're not connecting the engine to anything. They're not. They're not even touching the engine. I hate, I don't like this music track. Where's my radio? That's a phone. Right. That's a broom, you idiot. Right to move, put back in its place. They said I've got to remove anything else. Now I should be able to remove the engine. Pull the engine out of the car. There we go.
Ah, this makes my life so much easier now. Now I'm going to do all the bits from the suspension first, so I know that I can see. That way I know if there's anything wrong in the engine that I, I'm yet to find. Double wishbone shock. I need to pull that. Now I'm going to do that, then I think What I'm going to do is end the stream because it's about to hit the hour mark. No, it's not. You know, ignore me. No, not going to end the stream. Ignoring me would probably be wise. We'll probably end the stream at the hour mark. That's a good length for these episodes, I feel. Brake pads, ventilated discs. Up bolt. Hmm. Need to find the broken bushings. Here we go. Ay, ay, ay. I will be glad when I've just discovered everything. Now I can be done with it. Start putting this thing back together. Apparently I've discovered loads of things from the engine. I don't know where I get to be able to do that, but alright. I'm not complaining. Right, got to get to the back of the car, I suppose. These U bolts need to be gone. This plate. Things. They need to be gone as well. Leaf spring. Rare shock. There we go. Slipped. 
Ah. Brake disc needs to come off. Then the drive axle. Now the wheel hub. And the knuckle housing. Right. For a shock absorber. Leaf spring U bolt. There's a spring I need to pull, isn't there? I've just remembered. Yep. Anyway. Back to dismantling the car. Hang on, I need to mute myself from having another drink. Very thirsty today. I know it's a van. I'm saying car because I've been saying car for ages because I've all I've been fixing these cars. Did my audio cut out? I think my headphones just was pulled out. If my audio cut out, then that's why. Hopefully, it's just nothing. I forgot about the plate. Right. Ay ay ay. I can't wait till I get this done. What's the parts required at 58%? So anything under that I need to fix, basically. Right, let's go try and fix some parts now. How? How is there, like, this view... Things for repairing the body. This is why wouldn't it let me do the discs before? Oh well. Oh, I've not done it yet, so I may as well try. Hopefully, as long as it doesn't cost me money. doing that again. <laughs> uh, what I want to do is now, just to make sure the game saves, I'm going to go to the junkyard to look at cars that I can't afford. Or do I, it's not necessary, but this time I make sure the game saves all the work that I've done. I might find another barn map if I, if I look through all the rubbish. Just because I, I, must, I want the game to save. Uh, where's my map? There's my map. There's the junkyard. Yeah. Oh, it costs me money to travel there, though. I probably don't want to be doing that all the time. I have to. Why do I have to spend money to save the game? Even though there's a save game function in the pause menu now, I'm thinking about it. Never trust auto save. Never trust me with anything important. I'll do something wrong or mess something up in some way or another but yeah still I mean a 
apparently this is I, I mean I don't know if it annoys people or it's good for people but like like follow up subscribe I don't know apparently that's good for reminding people to do it but I don't know I'm still fairly new to Twitch and YouTube but I mean I would appreciate it the support to grow a smaller channel like uh, sorry a smaller channel like this but yes let's look for cars and things how many barn maps if I come across some junk they should be at the start like they normally are because that's where I saw the last one so I'm going to guess it's there there's a car I don't see what's this Bolt Atlanta, so it's an El Camino. <laughs> yeah, I don't be buying that. Okay, it doesn't let me strip the car for parts. Otherwise, I suppose that's what you could do, just look for parts, just keep going in and out of this and finding some, uh, find it until you find the car that you've gotten. And you can strip it for parts. I should always only find a maximum of three cars in the uh, junkyard. Like, okay, there's plenty of cars, but like three cars that I can actually have the option to buy. There's a barn map. I think I've got plenty now, so I don't need to be looking in here anymore. I need to remember to actually save. I was completely looking for cars. What's this? It's Christ of 300. Anyway, how much is this? Six grand. I don't know if it's more complete or not. I mean, but the, why is the screen always still on? Doesn't let me look at the engine. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'll close that, in case the game finds me for not leaving things how I left it, which I expected. This that might, might be something to do. Yeah, it's where I found the uh, IS. Give the game finds me for just about everything that I end up doing. Uh, is this a good? Nice, just two. That's just a right, an old rust bucket. Just happens to be sitting here. There's one more car that normally spawns in. I may be. T I may. I may. I may buy some. I may end up buying. I'll be completely honest. Knowing me, I'll probably end up buying a car that I really, really shouldn't be buying. There should be another car. It's not here, is it? I can't climb this ladder, can I? No. There should be three cars in the junkyard but waiting to be looked at hang on is this it? no it's like a BMW CSL here's another one it's like it's a BMW CSL uh, ok maybe there's only two cars this time nah I swear there's there might, there's three always three there's always three. I don't want to be proven wrong. I'm gonna look. I, I don't like being proven wrong. <laughs> What's that? No. I thought it glowed. That's probably boring people to death. Uh, I so I probably shouldn't be looking around here for too much longer. I I might just have to settle with being wrong. Is that golf? Mark one golf. Or am I being daft? Yeah, it's being daft. <laughs> Huh. Okay. There might just be uh, three cars this time. How weird. Yeah, there's, there's genuinely just three cars. Two, two cars. Two, two. 
Unless anyone in the chat seen one that I haven't. This is the Chrysler and the El Camino. If I find a third car, I'll buy it. No, I won't. Maybe I will. Actually, I might. If I find a third car, I will buy it. If I find a third car, I will buy it when I really, really shouldn't. That plate made me think it, there was one there. I shouldn't have said that because I'm going to find one now. This Chrysler was here before. Uh. Okay, I think I don't have to buy a car. What was that red thing? Very well, they chat to see one. That I'm just missing constantly. What was that glow thing? Just junk. Yeah. One more search around, then I'm gonna call it. None over here. Like, if I was going to be anywhere, you'd think it'd be around here, where there's not where none of the other cars have spawned. But no. Yeah, nothing down there. Nothing down there. Yeah, going to call it a day here. Is that Porsche? No. Stop getting distracted. Call. Call. Right. End the stream. Everyone, thank you so, so much. I thought Chris was there. I'm yawning again. Ah. Thanks, every th thanks, everyone, so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I mean, I'm still little. I've started Twitch recently. And, uh, yeah. Have a great day, great night, great evening, great work. Maybe you have a word. Oh, it's gone up to three viewers. Uh, do I really want it to end it, though? Oh, no, I will end it. Uh, to, my three, to my three viewers, though. I, the, the streams are saved on YouTube if you want to check them out. Uh, so, so yeah. And, and there, there is a small backlog on the Twitch. But yeah, I mean... Oh, hang on. Is that a chat message? Only two cars in the show. Oh, right. You know, actually, I, I will keep going. I've, had view, I, I, I've got view interaction. Yeah, okay, I, 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 I thought it was only three. Right, good. I'm not... Because I said, I don't know if you caught that or not, because, but I said, if there's a third car, I'll buy it. That would be a bad idea. Right. Yeah, no, we'll keep going then. But no, we'll keep going. I thought it would always spawn three. But yeah, I've already bought a car from the junkyard, a Lexus IS. Because, I, I basically I bought it because it was my starter car in Most Wanted 2005. Leaf Speed Most Wanted 2005, so I have a bit of history with it. So I'll keep going for a bit. Yeah, I suppose that's me being daft then. I swear, I, I, I saw I read somewhere it was supposed to be three all the time, but clearly not. That clearly demonstrated it. Maybe they all have like a small chance to spawn it. Maybe. It, I like to try to figure out how games work, so I think it's maybe like they have a small chance to spawn in each location. And that might be the way it works out, so there's a random number of cars. But yeah, we'll keep going for a bit. Once the game loads up. Yeah, we're currently sorting out the uh, GMC Vandura story mission. It's a, it's a mess, is what it is. <laughs> right. Yeah, this is the uh, Lexus that I 
I've already stripped it down and put its parts in storage so I can fix them up at a later date. I'm not I've not stripped it for parts or anything. I'm still not decide what exactly I'm gonna going to do with it. But uh I'm not whether I'm gonna turn it into like a sleeper or just a restore it to what it once was or I mean what do you want? If anyone in the chat, what do you want to do with it? Uh, Nuffan. Nuff, Nuff, I'm probably pronouncing your name wrong. Nuffan. Yeah, that was Nuffan. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not great with, with name pronouncing names, and I do apologise for that. Okay, I do like the. Ice. I like the ice in general. Right, we've just got a couple of things that are probably in the engine. I mean, I've got to dismantle the engine to get the parts that are broken anyway. Because we'll probably do the IS at some point. Not this episode, because... But, definitely... Well, of course we're going to do it at some point. What am I saying? I bought, I bought it for a reason. I'm not just going to let it sit and rot. I don't think it can rot anymore, let's face it, though. clip. Depends what you want to do with the car. No, I, I was definitely keeping it. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to mention that. I'm definitely keeping the IS. Because again, I have history with it. I, I, I'm i just indecisive of what, of what I want to do with it. I don't know if I want to turn it into a sleeper, turn it into a dragster. Well, actually, probably not a dragster, but like turn it into a drift looking sort of something that looks like a drift car. I don't know. Like set a track car, that sort of thing. I mean, I, fe I, I think at their, the IS is in real life. They're fairly tunable because I think this IS 300's got two JZ engine, which is a tuner's paradise. No, we don't want to go to the shopping list. Though. I've got to go to. Uh, I'll probably start flipping cars with profits when, when I buy them from the auctions and things. Uh, what's the, right, have I found everything yet? No. Hey, yeah, yeah, there's so much. Actually, there's not actually. I, I would mark everything, but then again, that's probably not wise. I seem to find everything, basically. Oil filter, <laughs> there's one thing. Uh,. Let's see, let's see. I, I, I've got to take the engine apart, definitely. There's coils and things in here. Yep. Rocker arms. These are all broken. I'm going for the other one as well. Oh, spark plugs there as well. First, dismantle the whole engine. Make sure I find every little thing. Because I don't want to be the one who's has to dismantle the engine for a second time. Because I've done that. I've done that before. I haven't dismantled the engine for a second time because I missed one little part. Rocker arm. Source manifold. Alpha. Right, let's get, go from the air filter up. Carburetor. Ignition distributor. What is it? See? Manifold cover? I wasn't reading it. No, it's the intake manifold, right. Okay, what are these? 
Oh, uh, push rods. Oh, they're, yep, they're all broken as well. They need to come out. Right, I suppose he's like... I suppose he's like before pistons, like... I don't know, I'm not an engine nut. Uh, I, no, there has to be pistons in this. I was being an idiot. There's supposed to be something else just on older engines. I'm not a mechanic, so... Yeah. <coughs> right. Just busy dismantling this engine. And... Then, inevitably putting it back together. Right, let's take off the head. Uh, pistons bird, yeah, pistons bird. I, they're probably broken as well. That looks broken. I suppose it doesn't let me because I've not drained the oil. Yeah. So what? You you must play this game more than I do then, because you seem to know more than I do. Right. That crankshaft is destroyed as well. Uh, yep, I, I just need to dismantle this whole engine, get get it taken care of. Yep. That's that. Okay, that's better. I can see what I'm doing now. And a lot of engines, yeah. So are you like a mechanic or 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 what? Because I mean I'm not. Because I mean, I, I mean this is probably I'm probably like this is probably the most I've known about engines <laughs> since I am a car I, I'm a I'm a car enthusiast. So I thought this game looks fun and yeah, it is fun. <laughs> and I suppose I'm just edu it's educating myself in a way as well. So I need to now be taking care of these things. But the other side of the, the I've not taken off the other side of the the other part of the engine, whatever it's called. Uh, head. I've not taken off the head. Uh, honestly, <laughs> the head. Well, that's nice just to build again. I I don't say this every single way, especially when I got comments. But it's just nice to build a community and. Just uh, talk to different people who play these different sorts of games and things. Right, let's rotate the engine. Get at these spark plugs. Uh, there we go. And I take off all these push rods. Or take out, right? It's more like taking out, isn't it? Yeah, mechanic in spare time. Ah, oh, that's cool. I mean, yeah, mechanic in spare time. Preparing paint cards. I mean, yeah. When I was younger, I sort of wanted to be a mechanic, and I mean. If I if I can't get if I can if I don't end up getting this streaming business to take off, that's probably where I'd go next. But as like something like something along those lines, mechanic and, or paint just painting and repairing cars and things. But I also but I'm, I'm, I I like enjoy playing games and things. So I thought maybe just maybe I'll see if I can get this to take off. I might be able to do some other stuff with it. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I mean, I'm sure you get the gist of it. <laughs> yeah, this is just this kind of looks a mess. I 
Of what now? I'll stop on the other side, right? I saw the crank cover and the pulley and things. Whoops. I thought that'd be obvious cause <laughs> for me. But then again, I forget the most basic of things. Sometimes I remember all this stuff, sometimes I forget the most basic of things. Hopefully, I don't have to do. Hopefully, I, I, maybe I'd be better off buying a whole new engine. Nah, probably not. That'd cost me dearly. I've, I've made enough better, poor financial decisions with buying that Lexus. I know, I know they're not like Lexuses and GMCs and things, but I just can't help but referring them to their proper names. It's harder to remember than fake names. Gear. Camshaft. That's probably broken. No, that's actually fine. Oh, for I literally took the whole engine to bits. Okay, I must have found everything on the car now. I must have. I literally took the whole engine. I wasn't expecting it to go for, to actually go that far. Oh, cut. They're rubber bushings, aren't they? Where are the rubber bushings? Yep, those are always, these are pain to get off because I can't see whether they're broken or not. Rubber bushing. Yep. Right, I'm just gonna go through taking them all off until I find that one's actually fine. As is that one. There's these two, not in good condition. Oh, I thought I'd already got it off. Have I found everything now? There's still two parts that haven't been discovered. Whoops. There you go. See, all these bolts seized up constantly. Right. There's a lot of other ones at the back, clearly. Is it? Uh, hmm. Fuel pump? Ah. Right, I, I have actually found everything now. Right, let's go and see if I can fix some things. Is any of this broken? Right, yeah, yeah, this is though. Yes. So give me the option to fix it again. No, it doesn't. Alright, I just need to look for any of the stuff that's broken. Okay, it's literally just that. Uh, let's go back to the... To, well, what was an engine. I don't... I can just put a fuel filter there and be done with it. No. Uh, let's put the engine the right way up. Oh, computer. Fuel. Fuel filter. I know I need a fuel pump as well. Where'd it go? There it is. I'll have that hover in thin air. Camshaft. Can't only the cam gear. This is the expensive bit. Hopefully, I have enough money. What? I bought the wrong cat. It's especially expensive if I buy the wrong cam gear. 
I have a really bad habit of buying the wrong parts. <laughs> it annoy I, I, I'm sure it annoys everyone. It really annoys me. Right. No. <sighs> right. V8 overhead valve. I think that means overhead valve. Correct me if I'm wrong. But. I hope. I mean. Probably doesn't. I'm being daft again. I have a habit of doing that. Right. V8 uh, 08VF for the crankshaft. Crank. Uh, there it is. Flywheel. Let's put all this back on. Clutch plate, don't need that. Let's put that on. I should have enough money to fix this this up. I should have enough money. Those are famous last words, I suppose though. I've completely forgot why, what should be fixed and what shouldn't. V8 oil filter. There we go. <laughs> you shopping this helps a lot. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh, I, I, I always forget to do that, right? So if I go to my inventory. Uh. Now, if I go to the car, then I can just go through everything and make sure I've got it off the shopping list. That'll probably be easy because I can. No, I can't. Why doesn't it let you do that? I don't know. Right. I'll just go to my entire inventory and add it, add it to all, everything to the shopping list. Except the fuel pump. Why did I add the fuel pump? Or was that wise? What was my shopping list look like? Was that clever? Or not? Probably wasn't. Okay, no, it's fine. Oh no, wait. I think I know what you mean. If I clear this, can I? If I view the part, I, I, I think I know what you mean now. Uh. Add to shopping. If I go to add to shopping list. Right. That's so much easier. Thanks for that. That will speed up this process, and it'll stop me from yeah. And as you probably thought, it'll probably stop me from buying the wrong parts. <laughs> Thanks for that. That will stop me from buying. Like, the main thing is stopping me from buying the wrong parts. Much faster putting things back together than taking it, the engine apart. Especially as most of the parts I don't need to, uh, uh are actually, uh, fine. Not broken. Well, they're actually pretty beaten up, but. Idiot. <laughs> uh, it's an that's an electronic part, isn't it? There we go. Ah, oh, it's so much easier. <laughs> thank you, thank you very, very much for that. That's just make that makes my life so much easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Right. Basically, it's gone road. Basically, rings. I should just put it over the parts requirement anyway. But alright, let's put all the pistons in. Until I well, until I get a damaged one. Then I'll have to uh, swap it out for what a new one that I buy. Okay, let's put the engine head on. Here's on here. Some spark plugs to go in now. I mean, these are all. Which of these are under the parts requirement? I don't know. I'll buy them all because they're cheap and the parts requirement's annoying to work around. Why doing? Just focus on a spark plug. And free problem will be solved. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight spark. Of course, there's eight spark plugs. It's a V8. Yeah, that was embarrassing. That was very embarrassing. I do apologize. these now. How many of these is there per se right, it's two per thing sixteen. No, I'm just, I just added two shopping lists. Come on. I've gone through this already. Don't completely disregard it. Sixteen. There we go. Let's start putting these back in. Oh, I need sixteen rocker arms as well, don't I? As you know, some of them are over the parts requirement. I know. I know. I know some of them are because it was fifty something. So I'll just put some of the sixty percent ones back in. Uh, the new person have to go exactly as yeah. I I sort of get how it works, but it's a pain. What you can do to get around it, I I I've figured it out is if you put if some of the parts are over the parts that are required, you can just swap them around. Put the broken pist like pistons for example. Put the broken pistons where the pistons that are in good condition were, and the game won't complain. And just put the. So it's, it's, it just saves you money. Although I can't really be bothered to be do it, doing that. I need it's for 14 rocker arms. I should add it to my shopping list, but I didn't. I don't know if I explained that in the best way, but... It's something like how I described it, I suppose. So that's why I was loads of them, like just 16. I just decided to buy them all, and they're cheap as well. So I should I should still make a hefty profit. Actually, to be honest, this job in general hasn't been as expensive as I thought it would be. Hopefully, it pays well though. Let's just size the engine down, I think. Put the roller on. There 
There we go. I'm, getting, I, I'm remembering this time. I buy the wrong serpentine belt all the time, so that's really useful. Like serpentine belts, especially, I'm always buying the wrong thing. I should take a drink now. <sighs> yeah, I remember to mute myself for that this time, because I don't think you want to be hearing that, do you? Uh, let's put all the pistons back in. That does count, doesn't it, before I start putting the rest of the engine back together? So if I put all these things back together, uh, how many pistons? Pistons with Conrad. Oh. Oh no, it's because I've not put the engine in. Okay, so it's just trial by fire, I suppose. <laughs> That's the downside of doing it here. It doesn't take because there's no engine at all. It doesn't tell you. Put all the pistons back in. And the engine head. Back to more. Uh, what are they called? Conrads? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can put the intake manifold on first. And the carburetor. <laughs> Apparently, there's lots of things I can put on first. I know I need one of these. Yep. Ignition distributor. Uh, no, I thought it put. I thought it'd leave me on the thing. No, apparently I've got to put a new rotor on. It recenters my cursor, which can be a pest. Okay, it must be a an electronic item. There we go. Probably should have figured that out anyway, it looks electronic. I didn't mean to do that, I was just pressing the wrong button. Let's put the new cap on. Oh yeah, clips. Those are like something a little bit easy to forget <laughs> that they exist. Manifold. Spark plugs. I need to make sure I put everything on this engine. <laughs> I'll make a monkey out of myself if I, if I forget something. Oh, wires. That's going to be electronic as well. Wrong thing. <laughs> also wrong thing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there we go. Right, let's bite the bullet. Got to put these con rods in. <laughs> and push rods. Why did I say con rods? They're push rods. Have I been, have I, have I been saying con rods? This whole time. Make myself look like a complete idiot. That's not what I intended. <laughs> Let's see. 
They're so little as well, it's hard to focus on them. Oh, really? Arr. There we go. Like I said, hard to focus on the push rods. Yeah, the push rods, not con rods. I remember this time. Look around. Stop zooming me out. Right, while I'm zoomed in, I'll put all of these push rods in. Now, when it zooms me out, I can put on the rock arounds, which are easier to see. Easier to see. Uh, rock around. Engine head cover B. Okay, I think that's the engine. Done. Take engine off of stand. I think now I've just got an engine in my inventory. <laughs> yeah, V8 overhead valve. <laughs> It's got all sorts of orders. Supra, A80 Supra. I'm not sure what that is, but I don't like it. Sky, Alpha A4 Skyline, Audi A3, Toyota Yaris, VW Golf. Right, let's put the car down and put the engine in it. Hopefully, all the engine related problems are done. Please don't have missed anything. Brakes. Go! Crankshaft bearing cap. Oh no, yes, I've not put the stuff under the engine. My mistake. <laughs> okay, I panicked. Okay, there's still some stuff under the engine. Okay, let's put the cut right. Let's put the car back up because I've been daft. <laughs> I knew I'd forget something. I just knew it. Just put that back over there. I forgot to put the stuff. I forgot to put it under the engine back together. What's the minimum parts requirement? Fifty-eight percent. Yeah. So I can put them on as long as they they meet that. If not, I've got to buy some new ones. That wasn't 58. How many of these do I need? Three. That can't be right. One, two, three. Oh wait, I'm thinking about rod caps, aren't I? Yeah, right, okay, so I still need some of those, but I need three crankshaft bearing caps. But that's not electronic, that's a, uh, it's a normal part. Let's put the crankshaft bearing caps on. This is in the way and annoying me. I better not put it on, otherwise it'll annoy me some more. Where's, I'll put the caps on, crankshaft caps on. So I can put on the rod caps. How many of these do I need? Five. Yeah, well, I've got plenty of money left behind after this. No need to panic. No need whatsoever. Here we go. Oil pan. Isn't there a hole there? Which automatically puts a bolt in. Okay. 
gearbox. Starter. Add the shopping list. That's gotta be electronic. I was right. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm get definitely getting the hang of this. Uh, front exhaust pipes. Front exhaust section. Drive shaft. Still the suspension bits. As long as it's above fifty eight percent, then it'll be fine. I need two ventilated discs. four sets of pads. I didn't mean to do that. Now I'm so used to adding things to the shopping list. I, I, I'm going to be accidentally doing that now. <laughs> well, I'll say, I'll say stop me from buying the wrong parts and just generally speed things up so there's no harm done. That's for such sure. I bought one, I, I should have bought two. Wheel hubcap. Wheel. Bottom suspension arm A. How many rubber bushings do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ten rubber bushings. Bottom suspension arm A. Ah, oh, right. I've got no idea what I need for the shock absorbers because I pulled them apart. So I'll just have to figure it out. When I put everything else on. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. What shock absorber? Because rear the rear shocks. I know that much. Front cat, right. Okay, for both of them, it's just the front springs. I see two of those. Let's go to my spring puller put them together. Then that's those to put together. Yeah, if that was the takeoff parts, I thought, what? <laughs> That's just a text carrying over for whatever reason. Uh, wheel hub bearing. Hub cap. Up as a 
suspension arm. Put the wheel on. Let's get my head out of it. That won't do me any good. the shock absorber in. So how far are we in with the jobs? There's the oil to be changed and stuff, but right, still pads, fuel pump. Uh, no, I, I'm not doing those. I'll just have to mark the I'll complete the order as undone. I'm not going to through and putting the pistons in again. I'm just not. Alright. I'm just not. I, I doubt you'll want to see me dismantle the engine again. Open your shopping list. Clear that off. Get two of those. Rear shock. Let's put both of them on. Rear axle knuckle housing. Let's get two of those. Wheel hub. Solid rear drive axle. There we go. All coming back together now. Get your head out the wheels. I'm about, I'm about to get my head squished in the wheel in a minute. Oh no, never mind. No, I'm, st no, I'm still squishing my head. So why does it put the camera back then? It doesn't put the camera back when it needs it to put the camera back. I don't know. Can't completely as undone on story cut. Oh. Uh hang on. Oh, can't just join, you can't hear anything you say. Uh Is that just me or what? Uh I am just gonna sort out the uh capture settings. No not live live streaming. Right, so I've got to complete the story car. Great. Oh, uh camera mark. Uh, no, uh, what am I going for? More options. Right, I'll turn the game volume down. Or is that just it? Oh no, I can hear you. I turned up volume. Oh, so what? Everything's f everything's fine then. Uh, okay. I've got up to four viewers. Thanks for everyone for joining. Okay, I'll, I'll leave as it is. I think. I'll. Uh, I th I, so I'll, I should leave as it is. Right, I've got to take out those pistons again. That's annoying. Now I'll put everything else back. <laughs> then I'll get over to them. Add it to list. Leaf spring. So, is my audio fine? Should be. I'll just have another look at you. Let chat in a minute. I sound, that honestly, that sounds like something my dad would say. <laughs> he says that to me sometimes when I state the obvious. He's a wonderful human being. Uh, need four U bolts. Oh, well, I'm glad everyone's enjoying the stream. Yeah. I'm definitely glad I decided to go on for a bit longer. <laughs> I say a bit longer, I'll probably double the length. As a genuine stoppage time, I'll probably set it for about half eight, because otherwise my mum will be on the warpath for me staying up too late. <laughs> uh. 
I forgot to put bushings in them. I need four small rubber bushings. Search. No. Open shopping list. Delete. Here's just this. I normally play on X mode. I think this is. No, it's not expert mode. I, I just started a uh, normal one. I might change it to expert mode actually. So I'm sort of getting to grips with it. Are you, I, I'll, are you able to do that from the uh, store, from the settings? Because I was thinking I was planning on doing that, but I, I, towards the start, like when I got grips with the game, I'd turn it up to expert mode. But I, uh, I'm not sure if it. If you're able to do that from the game menu. I'll start, I, I'm just on a streak of putting things back together at the moment, so I'll see if it, I can. So if I go into the, maybe it's a settings in the pause menu. I think you have to start on expert. Ah. That actually could be a thing as like an extra playthrough. You know, uh, what's in it, using it? STI, uh, can Nick, I, I've got no idea, I'm sorry, I've got no idea how to pronounce your name, but, uh, I, I might do that once I've, like, done with the main story. Get all the DLCs, and then, uh, start on a new playthrough on expert mode, it's like a bonus thing. That's such, that's something to think about. Throw out a few pump. Okay. I'm dreading doing those pistons again. <laughs> I've been through the engine once already. Uh, oh, I forgot to put on the U bolts for the leaf spring over here. Oh, got to put a rubber bushing as well. Actually, that's two rubber bushings. I've uh, yep. Right, you bolts, you bolts. He's put on the plate first. Uh, let's see. Let's put on the U bolt. Quite fiddly, they're quite little. Definitely gonna level up from this. Yeah, it's just the pistons and some rubber bushings. And then obviously the uh, oil and stuff. Is there a way to just get at them quickly? I wonder. To find out which ones are, have gone wrong. So I need to take off the uh, caps. 57% uh, right. This is the one, one of them that needs to come off. At least I can see from here. 52%. Are there any more of them? How many are wrong? Where is two? Where is it? Was that 158? Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Maybe with a combination of them and the piston rings. I might just buy new pistons because... 100%. 52. 100. 100. This is annoying me now. <laughs> right. Any of them that are under the percentage marker, I'm just going to buy new ones because I'm sick of this. Right. 53%. 100%. 100%. I don't want anything else to go wrong. Uh, if you go to settings, you can make it to where you can toggle cars available everywhere.
What's that mean? Cause it, I, I, I was talking about a DLC. Hang on, go to settings. What's that mean? Uh, which one, which one, one is the settings? Settings. Cars available everywhere. Yes, I think that's already on. I I didn't know what that did, so I just left it on. I'm not. Well, I'm not sure what that even means. I just thought it, it meant something important. Uh, right. Let's sort out these pistons because I'm really sick of, of this. Right, piston with Conrad. One hundred percent, fifty-seven percent, fifty-two percent. I mean, I'm fairly new to this game. Right, okay. Piston with Conrad. Right now, it's got to get at the engine bay, I suppose. Normally certain cars can only be obtained in the showroom. Oh, right. I suppose also it means I find expensive things as wrecks, I suppose. I mean, I doubt that IS I bought is a wreck, because basically I'm trying to earn all this money to fix this up. Because I, 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 I've, I've stripped it down already and put everything in storage for when I can repair it. <sighs> Please, I've got to take out all the uh, uh, the rods. <laughs> As well. Oh, where? I mean, unless I can, if I go down to here. Can I keep and get the no, it looked like I couldn't. I've got to do all this again. That's annoying. Oh well, I bet uh, hopefully I make massive prof massive profit from this. That's the only sort of, uh, what's the word, uh, com not comeuppance, uh, star them and hope they're both on the seas. Yes, that's a good point, that was a good point, I, well why does, my, all, it's a good thing all my viewers have more common sense than me, no, no, I'm editing to the shopping list, that's a good point, that's a very good point. Yes! No, wait. No! That ha ha But no, that was that's a very good point, stardom and use your equipment and things. Uh yeah. I have much less common sense than everyone in the on this, this world apparently. They're still in annoying places though. Has, have any of you ever done this? I put everything back together to realise something's wrong because I really do hope I'm not the only one. Because I do this on a regular... Uh, regular basis. Wires... I've got to take off the clips. Arg. <laughs> Unlucky. Yep. And they're, and they're right next to each other as well. I mean, it would save me time to uh, from taking off all the con rods. But. Oh well. I mean, yeah, unlucky. That's the story of my life. I mean, I'm not unlucky as I'm impoverished or anything. But I just 
when I'm playing my get games and things, I just generally I seem to have abnorm abnormally bad luck. I mean, right, which one is it? It's this one. I did put, did put it on my shopping list, didn't I? No, I didn't. However. Right. Oh dear. Now I've got to put it all back together again. <laughs> anyway, how does the customer know? How do they know that, that one of their pistons is slightly under the percentage grade that they wanted? They're not going to take apart the engine, are they? Uh, it's probably like one of the most annoying gaming features <laughs> I've had to deal with in a long time. No, don't put that back on. Right, start dismantling the other side. I know he made another daft mistake. Have I seriously got? Oh no! Oh no! That's for the engine block. Good. I was going to say, do I have to put the car on the lift again? Uh, okay. At least, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've done it so many times. It's probably faster getting the car apart now. I mean, the fa I've gone up to five viewers. This, this stream's going brilliantly. I mean, I'm, now I've got the most viewers. As annoying as it is, I may as well say I have a, an Instagram and a YouTube under the same name as my Twitch. So yeah, go check if you want. If you like what I do, seeing me being an idiot, go check it there because I upload the series to YouTube and do some original stuff there anyway. And on my Instagram, that I put my stream schedule there so you, people know when I'm streaming. It's a, it's, a, it's like it's a pinned in a pinned post. For November, although it's subject to change, yet any of the changes will be in my uh, Instagram stories. I don't even really have to do that many changes to the schedule. I've got six viewers. Ha! This has been my best stream yet. Thank you all for tuning in, watching, and just hopefully enjoying the stream. I, I, it's just a right. This will probably be like an extra length episode on the YouTube series which piston is it this one <laughs> right at last <sighs> right now I've got to put everything back together for one fi one final time then I've still got to put oil and everything in the car <laughs> it still won't be deep it still won't even be done after that <laughs> the way this works I suppose. Air filter. That looks almost like it's covered in stars. No, it's just rust and, f and filth. <laughs> Least favourite fault is car will not start. Yeah, because you, you just don't know what it is. It could be anything, it could be electronic. I mean, if it's electronics, it's fairly easy because you can use your tools, but yeah, if the car won't start, it's harder to test to see what it is as well because it's a lot of the tools that require the car to start. Yeah, it's hardly the most descriptive, folks. If the car is loud, you know it's the exhaust. If, if, it, if sloppy gear shifts, you know it's the gearbox. This is not very descriptive and could mean a multitude of things. Right. Yeah. Put the rods in while well, well, I'm zoomed in. Oh, I've got to put spark plugs in as well. This will be something I forget, which means I'm going to have to go through the car again. I just know it. 
I, I just got that. I've just got that feeling is inside of, uh, I don't know, in my gut rather than inside of my gut. Because <laughs> that, that sounds like I've eaten something dodgy. <laughs> Opposed to having a funny feeling about something. Uh, I've, I think I've drained my water bottle. Hang on. <laughs> no, still no, still got some left in it. I was drinking, that's why I muted myself and stopped, if you're wondering. I wouldn't do that just to check. Because <laughs> I doubt people want to hear me drinking. Uh... Oh my dude, the subs come on, because I've, I've been streaming so late again. So yeah, again, probably cut off at half eight, because my mum will be... Uh, if I turn off, no, I've, on, I've got put this, pulled the stream away. If I turn off my do not disturb, so I can see uh, see Twitch notifications. Oh, the fan! Thank you, see, thank you for the follow. I, th that's why I wanted to turn off the do not disturb because I didn't see that. I, I, sorry. Thank you for the follow though. Th that's well, that's made my day. I got up to six now. That's why. Th that's why I wanted to have my notifications available so I could see that. <laughs> if if any Twitch notifications. Thank thank you. So, thanks for that. Uh. I'm happy that you enjoy my <laughs> abysmal mechanicking skills, even though mechanicking isn't a word, I'm just t overly excited now. It, I don't sound as excited as I am in real life as on my streams, M maybe it's my headphones. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they're, they're, no, they're good quality headphones, I, s I hope. <laughs> Maybe it's the speakers on my phone. Nah. Hey. Or maybe it's maybe maybe it's my ears. Maybe it's my ears that aren't good quality. <laughs> I've got. I need to send them back. I need to send them back. They're, or if it, actually, a warranty might have expired. <laughs> that sounds. That's that's like a really. That just sounds like a really bad dad joke, doesn't it? Ah oh, well. It's better than. It, I'm improving from no jokes to dad jokes. <laughs> But again, no, really, thank you for the follow. I'm actually making progress with my uh, channel. Yeah, <laughs> a laughing face sums up ev about everything I've said in the past five minutes. It's not even been five minutes, so yeah, keeping <laughs> my duration of darkness is still going. By half eight, I mean half eight UK time, if anyone's wondering. If I don't mean... If, it, if someone's thinking I'm going to be streaming for five, for five hours, but yeah, let's put on this arm and oh, rock around. Right, finally. <laughs> Got there in the end. I was just rod caps under the car. I was thinking, what have I done now? <laughs> I was genuinely panicking there. Like, really, really panicking. Right. Uh, right. Did I put spark plugs on both sides? Oh yeah, I did, because I put wires on. Right, put the car up on the lift again, so I can put the oil. So then I can, then I can put oil and everything in it. I'm fine. Good thing I don't need to do the body. <laughs> I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this van. I'm really, really sick of it. I'm sick of its existence. Uh, right now, I need to go to putting stuff on. Right, just put on the rod caps and be done with it. Put on the rod caps, put on the oil pan. 
fill the cars with oil and other fluid and the other fluids that it needs. I just keep getting so much XP from taking things on and off. <laughs> right. Let's put the car down and finally finish, get this finished. Ooh, that was just a game lag and I think it's saving. Uh, I mean, next episode do the stream, might be able to start getting that Lexus fixed up. That'd be, that'd be quite a nice thing to do. What am I doing? Filling the car with fluids. Oil. I need to drain them as well. I don't put too much in this time. I have a bad habit of doing that as well. Like so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, windscreen washer fluid doesn't need to be drained, so I'll uh, do that one first. Yes, I am British, can you tell? <laughs> Anyway. Whoops. What am I doing? Additional tools, drain tool. Need to drain coolant, brake fluid, and power steering fluid. I'd I'd wait until you got thirty K for a safe buffer. Oh, Ha! I got most. Oh no! Yeah, I oh, know that's the same email, isn't it? Yeah, the no, farm's the thing. Got the most. I say about thirty k for a safe buffer. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was, I, I was going to finish upgrading my garage before doing the before starting fixing it up. So yeah, that's probably so good. And that, that's good. And thanks for that. Now I know sort of safe sort of buffer, so I don't bankrupt myself this far into the playthrough. <laughs> That'd be disastrous. Did I drain power steering? Yeah. But yeah, give it a most viewed in car mechanic simulator. Well, I, I mean, it's a little category because it's a fairly niche game, but I'm at the top of the thing. This is, this is, that's a big boost to all, everything. All about this has been a big, sort of like, a, this is a big boost to my self confidence. The fact that I'm watchable enough to be most viewed in a category. That's too much. Uh, what's it called? That's, uh, coolant. I feel like the the uh, the pump is that a pump or it's like a or storage or thing? I, whatever it's called, <laughs> I, I, my English isn't Englishing. Is 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 bigger or just as big as the bottle? What is it? Reservoir. That's it. Where's the brake booster? Where's my cursor? There's found found both of the things. This brake server looks destroyed. <laughs> Ten streamers. <laughs> That's more than I thought. That's but well, there's some milestones. I mean, thanks to everyone who's been popping in and out and just staying in, and it's everyone who's been watching in general. Uh, yeah, right. Finally, everything's done. What? What if I? Is there literally just a sway bar that I'm missing? Why? Why are you doing this to me? I swear I put one on. Is there a poltergeist in my garage damaging pistons and nicking sway bars? I mean, that, that also sort of reminds me, there's no day-night cycle. Well, that's probably fair enough, so you can actually see what you're doing. So yeah, I don't want a day-night cycle. <laughs> I, I can barely see what I'm doing and get things done as it is. Yeah, there's always something I'm missing. Uh, right. Yes, finally done. I got seven grand for that. All that I could have just done a normal order and got the same amount, uh, or more. <laughs> 
At least I leveled up. Uh, I want to get get renovated so I can keep be fixing things, so I can get that. So that's I'm, a, I'm a, another way to getting that Lexus fixed up. But yeah, that was disastrous. At least I've got. Oh, stop having high qual high quality. But yeah. What was I going to say? I, uh... No, I, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, you go XP. I leveled up again. Yeah, but I think I feel like I've got a metric ton of XP for that. There we go. Alright, so I, I still need to get the thing to level up enough to fix body parts. So, yeah. What I should have done really was taken a screenshot of that van for the YouTube thumbnail. That's what I really should have done. Get the paint shop. Expand the paint shop. I'll see if I can turn that into a thumbnail. Probably not because it's just a machine. Let's not hit myself in the face with that door. Yeah. Oh yes, that means I can paint one part a certain part. Yeah. I mean, there might be something I can find. Do I level enough for, I've level up enough to unlock auctions? No, that'd be a good thing to put. Yeah. The magnifier glass is a quick way to level up. Yeah, it, oh yeah, it is, isn't it? If I exam can I examine my Lexus and find that there's nothing there? No, <laughs> this is bricks. Yeah, if I get another car in, I could level... No, actually, I'm far away from leveling up now. Uh, speak and get another car in. I wonder. It's like an Evo. It's a Jeep sort of, like, Jeep Cherokee sort of thing. Oh, this is a story machine, isn't it? Poor tube. <laughs> right, it's going to be another long, expensive thing. Probably do one more car. No, be gone, foul creature. <laughs> uh, which one's the biggest one? This one seems to be the biggest one. I'll do one more job, so that sort of takes us to the half eight mark. Yeah. No, I'm not doing one of those vans for a long time. Right, what's this Civic want? Uh, knocking not. Tears. Body part problems. Okay, let's uh, move it. So yeah, we can be able to examine it. So yeah, again, I'll probably I'll use the uh, magnifying glass and then do tests and things. Hey, there's knocking noises coming. I've said I thought they might want me to do pistons again. Hopefully, hopefully yeah, hopefully it's just serpentine belts and things. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's front exhaust. I know. I, I don't think there were any suspension problems actually. I mean, I'll probably still do it for level up. Yes, brake problems, but now I'm still doing it. Because if I level up once more, I can I could be out fix body parts and uh, get the car auctions. I'm not going to be buying any cars for a bit because I want to fix up that Lexus and keep. Because I'll, I'll be keeping that. But now I can use the auctions to like maybe get more cars. But more likely first, like flip cars, start flipping cup cars for a profit. Scan and diagnose. Yeah, that's what I was going to do after uh, I, I've done all this. Oh yeah, because I've got like, I've, hit, I've got like nearly 50 XP from that already. Yeah, it's definitely a good idea to do this on all my jobs. I don't think there's anything up front now that I can examine, so I'll go around the back now. 
Oh, my cast is big, big. Oh, not a bit. Oh, like the movements are a bit rapid, rather. Can I swing around here? Yeah, there we go. I okay, now I lost the thing. Let's see. Five already. I mean, yeah, this whole job won't put me over the edge, but yeah. I've still not got something for the YouTube thumbnail, but as well. There's nothing here that I should. Well, I shouldn't buy anything at all because I'll put I'll, I'll put myself in a hole. But. Oh, that really should take a picture of that there. Uh, I'm just trying to think now. What can I do for the YouTube thumbnail? Oh no, I I I, I got the body repairing table, didn't I? I can take a picture of that. Because I need to just pick something that's that looks like I made lots of progress, so I can and it gets people to click on it. I mean, because. I've not got a picture of the van, people won't know that the van's been a pain. Mind you, pe people on YouTube seem to like watching people suffer in video games. That gets loads of views, so I really, really should have taken a picture of that van. Where have I put my head? I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to drain my water bottle now. I've been streaming for that long, I never normally do that. Crankshaft. Hopefully that's easy to get. Now, I've completely drained more balls. So, what I've done is buy up all the parts I can repair in the junkyard. Was... That's actually clever. I've never thought about doing that. I, yeah, you could do that, couldn't you? And buy the scrap cards as well. You know what you could do? <laughs> I don't know if this gets you more profit or not. Buy the scrap cards, buy everything you can out of the junkyard, fix all the parts you can fix, the parts you can put on the scrap car, put on the scrap car. Fix everything in his scrap car and then sell everything for a massive profit. I don't know if that'll work. I might try that. <laughs> this is like a conv convoluted mess of it. But I don't know. Right, what have we found? Right, it's brake problems. That'll be easy enough. There's still some more knocking noises. Ooh, let's do the body then. I'll do that for later. We'll, right, we'll go for the brakes first. I think. Let's put the car up on a ramp. The centre of these wheels looks like a Chrysler bag. Like those, they're the old Chrysler bags. Does it, 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 it not? <laughs> or you can do the car. If you get a junk car, wash it in a wheel. The can you? Okay, no. Hold off on that. I want to try that because that seems easy and, and profitable. Is it car wash and well trick. If so, well, it's probably a bit late. So I think this game stopped development, but maybe the developer should uh, fix that. <laughs> actually, don't fix that. It means I can make easy money. I won't abuse that though. Though, right? Uh, junkyard. I was going to buy a scrap car. <laughs> Any scrap car. Where because washing's free, isn't it? I know why it does that because washing's free, so it boosts the value for free. But I assume, like, doing the body because it's its own separate part of the car, so I suppose it massively boosts the value. But that's the only way to fix it, and it's only through grand. Yeah, and if it has a. I hate trying to repair camshaft. Yeah, because all the caps and things. Camshaft caps. I want to try that. 
I'm going to take a no, I, I need to take a screenshot of that table as well. Charging a battery as if it has one as well. Yes. That's quite clever. I'm out of, I'm out of a couple of money making schemes because I, I, to get, if I'm going to use them, I may, I might only use them to uh, fix up this Lexus because I'm, I'm, I'm getting obsessed with it now. Uh, actually, see, so yeah, I'll look for, I'll try and look for one with a battery if I can, if I find more than one. I'm not going to spend as long in here as I did before. Yeah, it's gone half eight, so uh, after I've done the scrap car trip, we'll definitely end the stream. So I need to uh, and see if it's, well, if it works. Uh, I, I, I suspect it'll Right, this hasn't even got wheels. What's this? High and die coupe. Do we have a battery? No, we don't. Right. Okay, right, there's a high and die coupe here. I'm still, I'm going to look for, right, there's, a, there's an Evo here. Do we have a battery? No. I'm just gonna quickly sprint it around the place. Let's see if see if I spot anything. If I don't, I'll just buy one of those cars. Which I'll, I'll probably buy the more expensive one because that probably means I'll make more profit. Although I don't know. Yes, yeah, just those two this time. Where's that Evo? There it is. Evo's probably more expensive. I'll check both their values. Junkyard won't have batteries, right. I ex Actually, that makes sense, because I suppose batteries got valuable things in them, but then the screens and everything. That would make sense, like, logically. Yeah, because this hasn't got batteries. Well, how much is it to buy this? 11 grand. Holy! It must be fairly complete, then. Or this is just, all these Evos are this expensive. I might not buy that in case this fails. Now, whatever. I, I take take a risk because what's the price on this? That's really cheap as well. Uh, I'll buy the Evo. I, I probably shouldn't, but I'll buy it. Garage. I do want to leave without parts. Yeah, no. Junkyard not having batteries makes sense. Does this work then? Again, I, I, I don't think these things through, I just go do what some... Well, sometimes I think these things through, but sometimes I just... Sometimes my brain just doesn't work. It just thinks, I see a car, I, I can fix it, I, I'll, I'll fix it instead of... Which is probably what's intended as opposed to just welding it and cleaning it and then flipping it for a profit. So... Hopefully the junk car's not ripped me off and this is like a four grand car. <laughs> I'll be quite cheesed off otherwise. <laughs> I estimate it'll be around 16k after welding. Well, I'll see. Before I do everything, I'll check the value and see how much profit I make. But that'd be like five grand. Because I bought it for 11, so yeah, it'd be five grand profit. <laughs> say I could buy loads of scrap cars <laughs> from barns and things. Well, ones in barns are more expensive because they're more complete. I think generally rarer as well. So I might not make as much profit from them. Mind you, I could find a battery. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm getting a bit far ahead of myself. I, the downside to this the loading screens are very long. Right. There we go. Where's my... That's a Civic. That remi- uh, there is the Evo. I'll flip them. Move. Oh no, I swapped it around, I don't want to do that. I, I want- let's put- let's put the Civic back on the left. But, if I... Put these two here. No, I'm saying, how much profit would I make? Yeah, so I'd, I'd lose money from here. Here. But, so if I clean the interior, or detail it, I don't know what it's, why it's called detailing. It's just cleaning it. 
But, so if I clean the interior, which is completely free, I make 255 profit if I repair it. Put these back. And take a picture of the body thing. Uh, let's not look at it, let's not have the cursor on it. There we go. Screenshot saved. Anyway, what's, what? how much profit do I make now? I make another t profit of two grand. Uh, let's move it to the car wash. That's a car. That's a paint shop. Don't forget to wash it too, yeah. Uh, let's, yeah. I've done the interior already. Where's my... Uh, right, now this all done. For, I've spent one, so. Shift made profit of two. Yeah, and, and I only spent 1300 on welding, so yeah. I just made a little profit there. <laughs> that's a cool, that's a little trick there if I'm short, if I'm short on cash. Thanks for that, like, all, all the support and tips and everything, it's really, really appreciated. But yeah, my mum will be getting pretty cheesed off with me now for staying up late, so... Uh, yeah, to, to everyone, thank you, right, really, thank you for watching, sub following, subscribing, everything. This has been, like, our best stream yet, 14k, not bad, yeah. Uh, but yeah, have, have a, everyone, have a, like, re really, have a great day, great evening, great, I don't know, whatever you're having. And yeah, goodbye. <laughs>